Hi there, welcome to Bitbee for visualized coding tutorials. This is the third video of our sorting algorithm series and we will explore about insertion sort today. In our previous videos, we already explored about bubble sort and selection sort algorithms. If you are not yet visited those videos, I recommend you to watch them once and come back here. You can find the links here or in the description for those videos. We have already explored the time complexity of bubble sort and selection sort algorithm and the time complexity for them is big O of n square. So today let's explore what is the time complexity of the insertion sort algorithm and its implementation. Before deep diving into the insertion sort, please subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed and share with your friends. This motivates us a lot. Thank you. So let's take one input array which is unsorted and here the input array contains 7, 4, 1, 3 and 0. Let's apply insertion sort algorithm on it and sort them in ascending order. Basically, insertion sort algorithm works with two nested iterations, that is inner and outer iterations. If our input array size is n, then it will have n outer iterations and k inner iterations, where k varies from n minus 1 to 0. So now let's start with the algorithm. In the first iteration, i points to 1 and j points to 0 th indexes, and key points to i that is 4. The key 4 and the value at 0 that is 7 will be compared. Since 7 is greater than 4, 7 and 4 will be swapped. Then inner iteration ends since j reaches to 0. In the next outer iteration, i becomes 2 and j becomes 1. And the key value is 1. Since 7 is greater than 1, 7 and 1 will be swapped. Next 4 and 1 will be compared. Since 4 is greater than 1, they will get swapped again. Now here j is 0 and we will jump out to the next outer iteration that is iteration 3. Now here i and key points to third index and j points to second index. So since here 7 is greater than 3, these two elements will get swapped. Again 4 is greater than 3 and 4 and 3 will be swapped. Now 3 outer iterations were completed and we reached the last outer iteration. So in the same way all the elements will be get swapped from the last index to 0th index in this iteration. Now all the iterations were completed and array is sorted in ascending order. I hope now you understood the insertion algorithm from this visualization. Now you can go through the Java and Python code snippets for the insertion sort algorithm. I have also provided the GitHub link in the description for the full code implementation. So coming to the time complexity, we can see insertion sort also follows the same time complexity that is O of n square like bubble sort and selection sort. This is because of n into k iterations, where n is number of outer iterations and k is inner iterations. That is all about the insertion sort algorithm. Please like, subscribe and share the channel with your friends. We'll see you in the next. Thank you.